波波波波波波波波波波波波波波波波波。Are emojis a good way to communicate? Okay, so here's the thing. What is an emoji? First of all, an emoji is that small little digital picture that is used to express an idea or an expression, like this one for the expression. Or like the one of the clock for the expression, or you can do one of the school with this and this and this, and there was a clock here, and it would tell you lots of things about the time, and that's pretty much it. And these guys, these guys, well, do lots of good things in these messages. These were invented in the nineteen nineties in Japan, and they were being started used globally since two thousand and ten, which is a huge milestone. And turns out, well, over one third of UK adults actually think that emojis are destroying English. They think we're going to destroy the English language completely, which is something that I've actually never heard of, to be honest. And is that even possible? According to Claude, yes. Well, in the affirmative position view, we like to make messages between people easier to understand, so that we use these emojis because they show the, the human expressions, like this one. It's a sad, crying face, and this one looks a little different from the others. And they can make messages more fun to understand with the help of these human emojis. And this is just one of those things that seems to happen at sales. So yeah, and other than making these messages fun, at times when these face-to-face -face conversations are impossible, it's actually pretty much possible to have these emojis to replace your face expressions. Like if I delete my face, if I got it, <gasps> then I could use this emoji to convey <gasps> this emoji. And if I want to do this emoji, I do this emoji. The glasses and a smiley face. What about this one? I need sunglasses. Damn. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Emojis don't look the same on all devices, to be honest. If they have different brands and all that kind of shebang, different phones and different other phones and different other digital devices like computer bands, they can always have their images of these emojis to vary one by one. And they have been well a replacement for weeks and are to reading to this lazy communication, and they are leading to lazy communication because of all this emoji talk. Some people think that all these emojis are leading to, well, lazy communication, which is something that all of us seem to have experienced one time or another. And the thing is, these emojis are over the top. I mean, are you actually going to use all these emojis in one conversation? No. Yeah, it makes me feel like. And that is exactly how I feel like, and thus is just one of the things that seems to be working about emojis. But most of you guys actually think that emojis do is a good way to communicate because eighty nine percent of you guys say yes, and eleven percent of you guys say no. And that is all I'm going to say. I agree with the affirmative position this time because I actually agree that emojis like. Improve communication, especially the English language or any language you're talking about, because without face-to-face -face conversations, face expressions are kind of hard to go by. Which is important that if you can't do a face and face-to-face conversation, but you're near each other and can do like a call or something, then do that instead. And so that is exactly how some people seem to view this problem. Emojis. Some people actually view these problems as emojis being slacking off. If there were even the lines to block it from there, but the thing is, I actually agree with the affirmative position for all its views that it gives me. But we can only have one winner, which is the affirmative position. Ah, that feels better. And here you go. There was something about this that's odd here. And emojis are always a good way to. Communicate, and what do you guys think? To be honest, I actually think emojis are a great way to communicate, and that is the end of today's episode. 
So I hope you guys actually enjoyed the episode itself. And I actually hope to see you guys in my next episode of Hunch on Sean Big Debate to see what Big Debate we're doing next. And so that will conclude this video. See you guys soon. Shout out. Peace.